This is Rebecca Evans for WHRO-FM. Shakespeare's play Macbeth explores ambition, loyalty, success, and guilt. It's considered by many to be the darkest play that he ever wrote. Generic Theatre is working on a new production of Macbeth that'll open Friday, October 4th in their theatre under Chrysler Hall. I had director Miguel Girona and cast members Tony Robinson and Tara Moskopoulos, who play Macbeth and Lady Macbeth, into the studio to talk about the show and what to expect. It's kind of a broad question for all of you. I was wondering if you could tell me and our listeners a little bit more about generic theater and what you see its role in the Hampton Roads arts community. I'm Tony Robinson, and I am playing Macbeth. I'm actually the president of the board of directors. Generic theater offers the opportunity here in uh, Hampton Roads to bring types of theater that wouldn't necessarily be done by other local organizations. Been around for, this is our 39th season now, and this is our 11th season down under Chrysler Hall, which is difficult for people to find, apparently. (laughs) But it was originally chartered for that very reason, to bring challenging theater and to lift up local work as well. So how would you describe seeing a show at Generic Theater? I mean, in a lot of ways, it's essentially our underground theater in Hampton Roads. How would you describe that experience for people who have never been before? My name is Miguel Girona. I'm directing the show. The first word that comes to mind is intimate. Yeah. It's it's a rather (laughs) small space, but it, it lends itself to almost an immersive experience. I mean, you really do feel like you're next to the show. And sometimes, I know I've been in productions where sometimes we reach out and touch you. (laughs) Fortunately, that's not going to happen here because we're armed. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So why was this show selected for the season? I had the idea. I had been working for about a year or so on the idea behind how I wanted to present it. And I pitched it to one of the artistic board members. And sure enough, they bought it to my surprise. Yeah. And is it an adaption of the script? Have you changed the language significantly or? No, we're sticking with the original okay. text. We just okay. had to make some cuts for clarity right. Um, right. and for expediency. Can you tell me a little bit more about um, kind of your interpretation of the show? I know it's probably not your run-of-the-mill production of Macbeth, I'm assuming, just based on what I know about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, for the most part, it is, um, it's set in... 1000 AD, which was Macbeth's time. And um, side note, not a whole lot of people realize that Macbeth was a real person. The interpretation comes from kind of the twisted viewpoint that Lady and Lord Macbeth were probably the happiest Shakespeare couple there was. Everyone else is always fighting or confused or arguing. These two actually team up and are going towards a common goal. And (laughs) part of the interpretation is that they are very much in love. That love plus their shared pain kind of is the catalyst for everything that happens afterwards and how they, what they do in some twisted way is truly because they love each other so much, one for the other. Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah, it's a love story. Who knew? (laughs) So what's the rehearsal process been like for you guys? It's been amazing. It's been a lot of discovery. I think going from just the text, if you were to take it just in what you're reading in black and white, it's very easy to make a lot of assumptions. But working with Miguel and working with Tony especially, it's been it's been amazing, at least for me, just having this story and being able to bring out the pieces of Macbeth that I've always seen there that I've never seen interpreted in that way. It's It's been great. I've really enjoyed the the discovery, like you said. Uh, the the hard part's been the uh, fight choreography. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it is intense. Yeah. There is uh, there's some serious serious fights going on. Yeah. it's it's That's been exciting. intense. Yeah. yeah. Um, the idea was between the fights and our choices that we've made um, collectively, if if you guys will agree. Yes, absolutely. Um, is to keep the audience off balance. Similarly. Macbeth and Lady Macbeth are consistently or constantly off balance, and we want to kind of share that with the audience by not so much surprises, but just something's coming from every direction almost all the time. So I have to ask this very cheesy question. Of course, do you think the play is cursed? And if so, has anything strange happened during the rehearsal process? 
I do not. not. Okay, <laughs> fine. I'm a little disappointed. I was, I was hoping you'd have like somebody fell, you know, uh, didn't get hurt. But, well, I, I, I would say for me, the jury is still out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, you haven't opened yet. Yeah. Because it seems every oh, night there is something we have to fix, change, adjust, oh, or rearrange. <laughs> but that's that's theater. True. Yeah, yeah, Very that's true. true. So it's just confirmation bias when you associate it <laughs> yeah. with a curse. <laughs> Catch Shakespeare's Macbeth at the Generic Theater down under Chrysler Hall in the corner of the bottom level of the Scope parking garage. You can follow the company's many signs if you get lost. Somewhere under the Chrysler, way down low. The show opens Friday, October 4th and plays through October 27th. Details and tickets at generictheater.org. This is Rebecca Evans for WHRO FM. Under the Chrysler, by the scope, lies generic theater with audiences, we hope. I told my friends about our show and asked them to cough up some joy.